The Hannah Chairman was speaking at a stakeholders meeting in Oshibodi ahead of the Ocean governorship election scheduled to hold this weekend, specifically on this September, on September 22. And speaking of Ocean election, we have one of the candidates who will be contesting in the race as a candidate of the Alliance for Democ Democracy. He is uh, Olubenga Akintola. He will be joining me from Oshibodi, Austrian state capital. But let's discuss what the issues of vote buying and the new policy of INEC on the use of mobile phones at the polling booth. Joining me from our Abuja studio is the national chairman of the Zenith Labour Party, Chief Dan Mwanyawo. Thank you so much, Chief Mwanyawo, for joining us on the program. What does this mean for an average voter? When they go to the poll and they may not be able to use their mobile phones, that's what INEX says it has discovered. Anything that has to do with the bridge of law here? Thank you, Shewu, for having me. <clears throat> I think I next should be encouraged, and I must have to congratulate the INEC leadership for this position. Everything must be done in this country to eliminate see and buy system that has just come into our political uh, voting system. It is not right for people to sell their votes. But you have seen that develop into a culture whereby in every election, certain persons will come with huge sums of money, position a vehicle, voters will vote, show their voters' card, collect money. The advantages, disadvantages of this is very enormous. So that's why we must have to encourage INEC. INEC is not saying you should not go to the polling unit with your telephone. What the leadership of INEC is saying is uh, immediately you are giving your ballot paper to vote. You will either hand your phone to somebody to hold for you, or there will be something like a basket, you throw it in there. I want to add that there must be security to search you, that there is no hidden phones that will enable you snap the political party you have voted for, to enable you show to people outside so that you can collect 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000, as the case may be. This is one of the suggestions that has been made in the pooling boot, management of the pooling boot during election. Chief Uwaya, I a, mean, uh, let's critically look at the provisions of the Electoral Act and the powers of INEC in this uh, sense. INEC, is INEC not handicapped in this case because INEC cannot arrest. INEC can only take up the case after a police officer had arrested. What would you be proposing to make INEC more capable in handling this situation if they find anyone buying votes or selling votes? Shewu, I have always told you in different programs and even in your morning show that the success of every election in Nigeria, majority of the elections in Nigeria that had problems, could be traced to the security agencies. So it is the security agencies that will assist INEC in making sure that some of these policy decisions are implemented. If you have the security agencies at the polling unit where a voter is obstinate, he doesn't want to obey the rules and the policy of INEC, it is left for the security agencies to enforce it. It's either you obey it or you don't vote. And this has, this has to be communicated to the political parties that will tell their members and their agents that these are the new rules. A lot of meetings have been going on. In fact, when we had this, there were many political parties in my office. We were happy about it because it will give political parties the opportunity to have those that are wanted by the people to be voted for. It is the security that will assist INEC. INEC will not arrest. And it doesn't have that power to arrest you, but it is the security. I have always said it. We must talk with the security. And I'm sure and happy that in most of these discussions, the echelon of the security forces have been part and parcel of it. I mean, uh, Chibu, the, the there is a critical question. Uh, sorry if I may barge uh, uh, coming here. Uh, is the issue of there is a buyer and there is a seller. Shouldn't we be researching and finding out why people will want to sell their votes? their franchise, their right as an average Nigerian, as an, an average voter. 
Yes, people sell their votes due to hunger. When the masses of this country are impoverished for a very long time, and the election is coming, they are giving money, the voter will see that person as being somebody trying to get them out of poverty due to illiteracy. You can see politicians today, they are now attending all sorts of wedding ceremonies, naming ceremonies, even circumcision ceremonies. Anything you invite them now, they will attend. It is left for the masses to say no. For four years, we did not see you. We have done a lot of things in this place. You did not come for four years. Listen to them, but vote them out on that day. You see, is this idea of push them into hunger, close to the election, open the vote, they will go for you. And I think it needs a lot of education on the part of the political parties to tell the people that when you sell your votes, that you have sold your four years, you have sold the four years of your children, you have sold the four years of prosperity that will come to you. You may collect the money, but don't vote that way because they are buying you and for four years you will not see them until during the next election. This has been the pattern. It has been working for them. But I think in 2019, we are going to have something different. All right, uh, uh, Chief Mwaya, you, you are a politician, and we, we know politicians' ways of trying to style convent uh, some of the hurdles uh, that will prevent them to have their ways in the electoral process. We see this happen a lot of the time. Now that INEC has said, look, there won't be the use of these devices to disallow people to show evidence of what they voted for, to go and collect money afterwards. Are you not thinking that politicians are already working to ensure that that will, do you think that will, will, will work in Ocean State on Saturday? Once we have a, have a secluded place that nobody will see you when you enter to thumbprint and to vote, there is no other option that the politician will put to circumvent it. The problem we have always had is you are giving this ballot paper, you vote before everybody and then even show it. You see, before we had these cubicles, and I think Anek is thinking of reintroducing that a little bit distant from the point that you are credited. You will be the only person in there, and nobody will see you. I don't know if it is part of the budget, but if it is not, the National Assembly should do everything possible to give INEC more money. If we have a credible, free, and fair election, it means that Nigerians have looked at that candidate as somebody who can get them out of poverty. It is important right. that INEC employs this. And this is only one of the ways that has been suggested as being part of what should be done. You can look at the issue of a, a, a right. card reader. Just a moment. You can we see the issue of a, doing break. away. Just, just a moment. We need to go on break. And when we come back... Our attention will be on issues of vote buying and, in fact, the Ocean governorship election. One of the candidates, of, one of the 48 candidates, will be talking to us from Ushugbo. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be right back. Thank you so much, everyone. One thing bothers the INEC chairman and the commission, and that is the issue of vote buying. When people pay for voters' votes. So, INEC says, there won't be use of mobile phones at a polling booth and any other recording devices. How does this come to you as a voter? When talking to the national chairman of the Zenith Liberal Party, Chief Dan Wayo. But we have from Oshobo joining us the candidates of the AD Action Democrat uh, Action for Democracy, uh, Mr. Benga Akintola. I just us from Oshobo. Let me quickly round off this conversation with you, Chief Wayo, quickly. Um, in 30 seconds, a viewer is tweeting at us and he asks, her tune base says, on what basis in law would the police arrest someone holding his mobile phone while voting? This is a breach of fundamental human right uh, in no doubt. That is a view of a voter. Just in 30 seconds, uh, let's close this conversation, Chief Umayon. That will, not be, that will not be an abuse of your right. INEC has enormous powers to adopt systems and policies 
that will ensure free, fair, and credible election. This is just one of the policies that INEC has brought up, and it has the support of the political parties, at least most of the political parties. I am happy I saw the IG there. Everything will still depend on how the police accept and operate this system. No agent of a political party should be barred from any collecting center. That is where most of these problems are uh, emanate from. Okay. So these are some of the things that by the time we get hold of all these policies and all these systems that INEC has put in place, there is no way we will have free, fair, credible election in Osho State. Thank you so much, Chief Dan Wayne, National Chairman of the Zenith Labour Party.